good everybody it's your boy O'Shea Duke Jackson back at it again with another episode of the celebrity junk Dima Mario Brothers music so guys a lot of times I get a lot of hassle for coming hard uh or down hard on the black community uh in many cases uh african-american women but let me just talk about one woman in particular who I believe is the epitome of class. She's a respectable African-American woman. I have the utmost respect for our sister, Allison Felix. She's a woman that is completely honorable. She's the top of the food chain, okay? She's always represented uh, herself in the track and field community in our country, uh, basically being a six-time Olympic gold medal winner especially in the 400 and 200 um, and 100, at least uh, certain points. I have a lot of respect for her. Okay. So I want to give her a round of applause and give her flowers while she still lives. However, the same cannot be said about this young woman, Shikari Richardson. Oh my God, bro. Oh, hell hell no. Now, a lot of y'all are Shikari Richardson supporters. Okay. And, you know, uh, the black community is very, very interesting family. You know, we like people who have the potential to do something, but never follow through, a.k.a. the black church, the pro black community, hotep community. Uh, we can name names. We won't. But y'all like to defend those who can't be defended. And Shikari Richardson has a lot of supporters, although she cannot get the job done. Let's talk about her real quick. OK, after failing to qualify for the Olympics, which she actually did based on time, but she was having the little weed issues there. Smoke weed Many people came day. down on uh, Shakari Richardson, but there was a particular athlete who came to her defense and offered some kind words of encouragement. That was U.S. track legend Allison Felix. While others were telling her she needs to shut up how she was talking bad about the Jamaican team and liking negative posts about them. Um, people were, were talking down to her and, and it was right. But Allison Felix said, you know what? Um, she's going through a lot right now. We wish her all the best. But Shikari Richardson took that in a bad way. She said something similar to, to this. Like, uh, well, a lot of you athletes want to say something in public, but you don't want to talk to me in private. As if she owed your ass anything because she could have talked shit about you in public, but she didn't. So let's fast forward, Dima, to what happened recently. Um, Mrs. Mrs. Felix, who's married, uh, so I'll call her that. She finished her career, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, winning bronze in the 400 relay team. And this photo was taken. OK, and again, Shout out to the four sisters that won uh, some sort of medal there. I'm not really necessarily sure. But what happened was Shikari Richardson. If you can look at this first photo, you see four athletes here. The lady on the left, Allison Felix, was cropped out, which left Diggs, Whitney, and another lady. I can't read her name. Okay. And what Shikari Richardson called the other three, the block. In other words, F. Allison Felix. Okay. Now, people went on a, a rampage on her. Even Brother Kamal Ford, listen to this. Day music. Oh, the work from home athlete. Cherise says, Day music. Such a girl crap out Allison out of a pig, and it is so hilarious to me. Now, this other person said this I know she regretting dropping out of LSU. At least she might have meddled in NCAA graduate. Kai can't even make it to the heat of a major meet, but bashing the goats. And let me let me just say this, okay? For all of you out there who encourage this behavior, this is no different than the same people who want to encourage Young Thug and Gunner. Y'all who are encouraging the drill rappers. Y'all who are encouraging people in the community to, to, to be um, asinine and to not be productive. This is no different, okay? This is the same stuff that, that we see people doing in the black community every day. Then you wonder why we don't have anything. You want to know why? Because nobody's going to really tell her what's going on. It's starting to happen now because people are tired of her shenanigans. But here's what's going on. She still got too many supporters. And y'all will sit back and let her talk about Allison Felix like that. A woman who is the epitome of what black women should be like. 
She's the top of the food chain. She's a mother. She's a wife. And you got Shakari Richardson on here with flipping people off and open and spreading her legs and things like that. This is what y'all allow. And I, and I know I'm associated with the black management community, but I'm gonna talk about this. It is too many times that when we have sisters in the black community that are actually worth something and are actually contributing to the positive stereotype on our community and y'all don't defend these ladies? What? And I'm not even saying it from black men, I'm talking about from black women. Y'all won't even support them. How are y'all gonna let the best of our women who are out here looking feminine, acting like women, top of the food chain in their career, making the race look respectable, making our women in the community look respectable, and then y'all get behind Shikari Richardson? What? How dare us? We gonna, we gonna stop acting like, come on now. Then you wonder why we don't even have women who wanna even do the right thing. Cause they don't get no support. It's the same thing in the black community with a lot of black men. You are a decent black man. Listen, nobody wants a decent black man in the world today. Be an idiot. If you can be an idiot and get up there and talk about how you're going to shoot somebody and all that stuff, here come all the support, okay? Here comes all the support. When it's a decent brother or a decent sister sometimes, li listen, listen, y'all y'all don't want to talk about this, okay? To be a decent black man or a black woman in America today, it's a tough job. And you know what it is? It's a thankless task. Be decent. Be classy. Oh my God. People might even hate you for that. I'm serious. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna speak for those who can't speak, who are high achievers in our community, who are people who have uh, done things the right way. Don't run their mouth on, on issues they feel uh, they need to talk about, but they sit back and then we sit around and put our uh, trust behind idiots, pastors, pro-black frauds, people who don't do nothing, who are not productive, who are not builders of our community. And this is what we do? No wonder why these folks go over here and they get tired of us. They move over to where the white folks are at. They don't want to deal with us. Can you blame them? Look at who we give our fucking support to. It's ridiculous. Guys, I'm sorry. I got call like it is. Everybody in the black community should be jumping down Shakara Richardson and checking her for getting on Allison Felix. How dare you talk about her? The same way we should jump on anybody talking about Malcolm X, talking about Dr. Martin Luther King, talking about any of our leaders who've helped achieve anything. How dare you, Harriet Tubman, jump down their throats. You never let people disrespect people that make us look good, ever. But guys, what do you think? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson. Back at it again. Another episode of The Celebrity Junk. I appreciate you for all that you do. Subscribe at the bell. Check out the first company to die. And as you know, the buffoon remains at all time high. I'm out. <laughs>